Uh, hey everybody, um, I had a, uh, a little post come up on the Chief Talk forums and it's about creating this condition. Now this condition is where we've got a, uh, a stem wall condition where there's uh, a built-in ledge and we've got a ledger here that we're going to hang our platform from. So let's see if we can, this is going to be a starter conversation if you will. Um, take some information out of this, but really I'm answering a question. Um, but while I'm answering a question, Maybe you're gaining some information out of this. So this is my pro plan template. I'm Renee Rabbit, this is Rabbit Design. And this may look a little bit different than your plan template, but I've got a couple of tools in here like Auto Build Foundation that are gonna make this job really easy for me. So I'm gonna copy here and then center this wall up. And then I wanna open this wall up and get into the structure panel. And then from here, I'm gonna check this box right here, bearing wall, okay? What that's gonna do is gonna auto generate a foundation wall underneath that wall. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna select all these foundation walls except for this middle wall and then let's open these up and I'm gonna do a few things here. In the, let's see, in the structure panel, I wanna go ahead and hang the floor platform above on wall and include a ledger. And then I wanna get into the wall types. And in the wall types, actually before I even get anywhere, let's go ahead and in the general, I want to set this, I'm going to add an inch and a half. And so that's going to create a new wall type once I tab out of this. So now in the wall types, we see we've got a new wall type here, 10 inch concrete stem wall. So I'm going to check this as a pony wall. That's going to be that 10 inch concrete stem wall. And then I'm going to choose the eight inch concrete stem wall. And so this is going to create my ledger condition. Then the next thing I'm going to do is elevation of lower wall top. I'm going to make this the same thickness as my floor structure. And then the last bit is I'm going to get into the foundation and let's set this footing to 24 and go ahead and make it a 12. And then press OK. That's going to turn off automatic build foundation. Now I want to designate this center wall. And in this case, all we're really doing is setting this to 24 and 12 again. And then I want to center the footing on the main layer here. Let me press OK. Now I'm going to shoot into a camera view just to show you a couple things. If we want to increase the overall depth of these stem walls, it's easy to select on the outside of this, hit tab one time, and this is going to get me that exterior room so that if I slide this down, let's say 12 inches, that just made our floor defaults change. So for floor zero, where it used to be a 22 inch now it's 36 inch. So we just changed our floor defaults by doing this, okay? Now the next thing I can do, and I can do it here or I can do it in an elevation view, but I can choose and select the inside room and drag this down and then I'm just changing that individual room's floor height, okay? So I'm gonna close my perspective view and let's go ahead and bring up an elevation view. Now I wanna snap my elevation because I've got a, a hip right here. I'm gonna snap it right on the hip. And then inst instead of doing a back clip, I'm going to choose to do uh, use this depth cue, which is a new feature. And let's uncheck keep start and end in sync. And I'm going to draw this out. And I kind of like the look that this is going to produce once we're done. So now from this view, I can select. And what I'm doing here is I'm selecting that wall, that back wall that's at the back of this elevation. Then I'm going to tab through. Grab this edit handle, drag this down, and let's make this 24 inches. We've now created a stepped footing condition. So the next step is build all framing. We're gonna turn that view on. Let me go ahead and auto detail this. Let me add a story pole dimension here. I can grab this story pole, do a continuation here. That's gonna pick up the bottom of this next footing. And this is looking pretty sharp. So we see that we have that condition where we've got this broken stem. What I want now is I'm going to make sure that I'm in the select intersected mode and I'm just going to draw a marquee over these two and then union them because all this is is a few CAD boxes from that auto detail. There we go. I'm going to union that. So this is that condition we're looking for. And now I have a stepped foundation. We've got a through here, right? So we're maybe we're sistering up along this as a mid span. And then we're hanging it on the platform here and we've got a notch in that stem wall. Pretty clever. So hopefully you picked up a few tips and tricks here. And uh, yeah, there you go.